today we're going to do the front brake pads on the Argo. Nice easy job. We've already got the car jacked up ready to go. If you need to know how to do this, look at one of our other videos for like the Ford car or the oil change. It's all on there, it explains how to get the car up and how to get the wheels off safely. We're only going to show you one side because once you've done one side, the other side's pretty much identical. First job is to loosen the cap off the mass cylinder so that when we push the cylinders back in on the calipers the fluid can travel back into the mass cylinder freely. These discs and pads are actually working okay but the last MOT they came up as an advisory because of the corrosion. The corrosion is simply because the car wasn't used for about 18 months, it just sat there. But yeah, we'll change them because they were advised to do so. Okay, next job is to get your screwdriver in here and all we're going to do is we're pushing this cylinder back into the caliper to allow us, there we go so it's now pushed as you can see the cylinder into the caliper giving us free movement to fit the new brake pads we now need to remove these two 8mm bolts we've already loosened them off so these bolts come off and this will allow the caliper to come off it's also a good idea to have a box for everything otherwise you end up losing stuff the caliper will now just come off and just hang out the way, just be gentle with it just leave it there, it will do no harm there now next job is to take the carrier off to take the carrier off a nice strong, half inch strong arm will do the job nicely 17mm socket get it onto the corroded bolts there we go, and then undo. So we just crack them with this. Like that. Just makes life easier. Half inch ratchet, undo the bolts. These will now come out. These are a very fine thread to allow you to get them quite tight. Again, bolts in the box. And then the carrier the pads will come off. So the pads are there. So the pads are there. And the carrier, the pads slide just out like so. On the front of the disc, there's countersunk torque bolt, which is a 30. Just gonna take that off now, undo it. and throw it in the box and then what you want is two M8 bolts and the front of the disc is threaded these slide in here ratchet or spanner tighten them up and what this will do it will pull the disc off the hub Like so, one disc removed. Okay, with just a bit of cloth, just give this a bit of a clean. Depending on how corroded it is, you might need a bit of wire wool or light sandpaper, maybe, but probably avoid the sandpaper. And then a little bit of copper slip with a brush, very lightly, just coat it and that will stop it. And we put the new one on season to it so if you come to replace it again in the future it should come off reasonably easy the new disc 
comes cardboard box with a plastic bag. This will be coated in an oil to stop it from rusting while you store it. So what you want is some brake cleaner. And you just want to get rid of that oil. Otherwise it contaminates the new pads. Clean all over. Then you've got your hub, just slide the disc on, put it in the right place where your thread is for your countersunk bolt. Slide that in there, tighten it up. Tight. Bring the wheel around, put your carrier back on, carrier slides in like this, put your bolt back in, Bottom bolt back in. Then the ratchet, 17 mil again. Get them nice and tight. Corroded, perfectly serviceable. Just make, so just make sure that, that your carrier is tight. You don't want your brakes falling off because that would be bad. Now you just need to put your new pads in. Don't use old pads on new discs. Always put the new pads in. So let's just, just put the new pads in. There we go, I made that look a lot harder than it actually is. They drop in like that. This then comes up, and if you just before I put that up, you can see that these have got flat edges on. These flat edges stop the nut in here twisting when we tighten this back up. So we push the spring in, push the spring in, Get the flat edges against the caliper, get the two bolts, bolt them back in, They're tight. And before we do anything else, what we're going to do is I'm going to jump in the car and I'm going to press the brake pedal a couple of times just to put the cylinder back out to take the play. Otherwise, if we were to try and drive it, the first time you press the brake, we won't have any because it's got to take the travel up with the cylinder. So I'm going to do that now. One press, two press, and there we go. So also a good idea to put, again, a little film of copper slip on the face. Not on, obviously on the disc, that would be, you don't want to do that, just on the face where the wheel goes. And that will help the wheel come on and off. Some people put cop slip on the back side of the pads to stop squealing. Uh, we haven't done it in this case because it's got quite good anti-squeal shims here and there's a nice pad on the back of it. 
If it does start to squeal then we can add it later. Now we're just going to put the wheel back on. And with these new brakes, my son now will be braking later and uh, break, beating everybody when they're racing. Or not, in the case, in the case may be. So if you've got one, they're handy. We've got one of these, pretty handy tool. And the locking wheel not gets tightened. Once you put the car back down on the floor, just talk the wheels up to whatever the manufacturer box says. It's normally around 100 new meters. Don't forget at the end, Check your new height, your brake fluid, and then just to put your cap back on after you're finished. We're only going to show you one side because once you've done one side, the other side is identical. And I can't speak, so I'll do that again. First job is just to loosen the cap of the brake master cylinder to allow any fluid to travel back. In when we push the cylinders back in again, that's rubbish. <laughs> Do it again. Okay, the next job is we need to push the cylinder back in. So if you just get your screwdriver against the disc and the, the caliper itself, it'll slowly push. Do that again. Cast a little tender. Just this. I've zoomed out. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. They're going up all right. <laughs> you have to pause it, that's like forever. Stop that. Start again.